Okay, so we're going to show you now how to create a new station using the workbench. I'm going to go to the Tools menu on the menu bar at the top of the workbench. And I'm going to select New Station from the list. When I do that, I can select a name for my station. And I can choose a template. Now, there are several default templates depending on how you're going to deploy the station, either into a JACE or into a supervisor. And there's also the option to create your own templates so that if you know certain features that you want to put in every one of your stations going forward, you can create a template that's customized and you can select it from this list. I'm just going to use a standard new controller station template. And I'm going to click Next. And now I'm going to set a default password for the admin user account. The password must be 10 characters and include at least one uppercase, at least one lowercase, and at least one number in the password. Once I'm done, I have the option when I click the finish button to either save the station and open it in the user home to open the station copier so I can copy it to my local platform to work on it or to close the wizard. And in this case, I'm going to select copy it to the local platform with the station copier. It's going to allow me to create a copy of that station in my daemon home so that I can begin to work with it. So I'll click finish here. Creates the station in my user home. And now I have to connect to my platform settings on this PC. I'm prompted to accept an encryption certificate because Windows doesn't recognize the Tritium certificate which is stored in my workbench. That's fine. I'll select accept and then I'll log in with my Windows credentials to my platform. And since this is my PC, I can check the box that says to remember these credentials so I won't have to type them again. When we get to the station copier, the station transfer wizard appears, and I can choose to have this start immediately after installation, which I will leave it set to do. And I can also choose to have this station auto start so that when Windows boots up, the station begins to run as soon as possible. Now for a supervisor station, one that I was building for a customer site to act as a supervisor to other stations, I would leave that auto start check mark checked. But in this case, I'm going to uncheck it because it's on my personal laptop that I use to engineer jobs. So I'll go and decide which stations I want to start and which stations I don't manually in the application director. So I'll click next here to go to the next prompt. It tells me that all the station files will be copied from the local computer to my local host, which is my daemon home. And I'll click Finish to complete that copy. Since it's an empty station, it happens very quickly. So I get a message that says the transfer was complete and that it was a success. I can close that window. And I get the prompt asking me, do I want to open up the application directory where I can view my stations on this platform? And in this case, I will say, yes, I want to see the station that I just copied and its status. And what I'm waiting to find is that the status of the station says that it's running. Once the status changes from starting to running, then I can log into the station and begin engineering that station.